Oh my gosh. Guys, it's all whole. They pissed off at me. Sarah here. Who else was here? It's a bunch of them. As you hear them in the birds, they all manifested here. This week, can, can I tell y'all why I'm so excited? Like, finally, you're gonna go through what you've been putting me through. Like, this is your week. Can I tell you that? This is your week to reap what you sow. And actually, some of you will be reaping El Elisha's inheritance a double portion. So some of you will be reaping very much good. Okay, don't get it twisted, but the people names like Sarah for financial worries, coming back to sender, Chloe, here, all these people, good will overcome evil. And so this week, that's going to be your reaping of your sowing. Now, for Alex Alflukau, you've been abusing me much longer than these people. You and Celeste have been abusing me since over a year now. So when you guys start reaping this week, it's going to feel a lot harder than everybody else. You're going you're gonna to inherit a worse punishment because you guys never stop. Samuel. You are fine, finally getting justice over your ass too with Maddie Nottage and her daughter and all of this stuff. That's, I'm just, it hap y'all don't know the hell y'all been putting me through every day. You don't care. So I'm happy that God says good wins over evil. Anyway, child, y'all reaping what y'all sow this week starting today. The false prophets are being destroyed. And you just as a normal human being, you're going to reap what you sow. God said if you roll a rock out, the rock got to come back and roll on you. So Elisha inherits a double portion. 2 Kings 2 verse 9. And it came to pass when they were gone over and God said the, the thing he can't stand the most about y'all false prophets is that y'all keep taking away from his people and he said I'm blessing them I give them their stuff and here y'all come talking about something you don't deserve it yet you can't have it cause she can have it and this and this and that God said you false prophet it's time for you to be destroyed good does win over evil I don't come and take from no widows and say that they can't eat and this one can have the money with a boyfriend and you as a mother or spiritual mother come in last night and do that crap I'm so happy God is coming now you have to start reaping this week the fight especially the financial hardships alone that this week is getting done says the Lord he says good must win over evil it doesn't matter what form, shape, or spirit it comes in. Light has the, the, the power over darkness. Elisha and Harris a double question. When it came to pass, when they were gone over that, Elisha said, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I am taken away from thee. And Elisha said, or Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Elijah was a prophet who did not see death, but was translated by God when his time came to die. Elijah was old and knew that the time had come for God to take him up in a whirlwind. In preparation for his departure, I, that's another thing I've been seeing. Someone here 50 years or older, you get ready to leave and go home. And God been trying to make sure you have your life insurance policies together. You're a woman. You're a man. Whoever you are. I've been seeing it for months. And it's only because you've been sending death threats. So you've been trying to do something to somebody else first. And so what God is doing is he's bringing justice. And he's saying, no, it's time for your departure. You're taking, you're taking money and food from his people's homes. You're controlling. You're uninvited. You won't stop. You, you're bullying. You're narcissistic. You're telling people they got to outlast you in their own personal space. And so God said your departure is here as a prophet. That's why all of you guys are being destroyed. It was not the way of God. It was dictatorship, he says. 
And so Elisha was a younger prophet. He was Elijah's close friend. And that's another thing. God raising young people, me or younger, to come and do the job. That's why he keep bringing up King Josiah. Elijah or Elisha decided, Elisha decided to stay with him until he departed the earth, even though Elijah insisted on journeying alone. Elijah or Elisha first went with Elijah to Bethel to meet the whirlwind, but God was not there. God told Elijah to continue his journey to Jericho, then on to the Jordan River. Each time, Elisha insisted on going with Elijah to the various places chosen by God. Okay, some of you, God is blessing. He is giving you that double portion. He's telling you where to journey. You know, he has raised you under an Elijah. He has raised you to, for such as a time as this, says the Holy Spirit. So, congratulations. Some of you are receiving a double portion. When Elijah reached the Jordan River, he took off his, I'm sorry, his cloak, folded it and struck the water. The water parted and Elisha, or Elijah and Elisha, crossed on dry land to the other side. Elijah, expecting the end to come soon, asked Elisha to request anything of him before the time. Elisha and Elijah, Elisha asked Elijah for a double portion, or Elisha asked Elijah for a double portion of his spirit. Elisha knew this was something only God could do. As the two talked, suddenly they appeared a chariot of fire and the fiery horses that came between them in the whirlwind. After Elijah was taken up in the whirlwind, a double portion of his spirit rested upon Elisha or Elijah. And so he got promoted. Elijah went home to the Lord in the chariot of fires. So that's what I'm saying. Some of you guys, are, everybody didn't do bad, but the main ones who are who God is saying, good will overcome evil. The, the, the people who go into people's homes like last night and give the wrong side, the riches, they choose who they want instead of who God has. Those are the people in that particular situation just like that and this is for maddie because she was the one who did that last night and sarah he's saying okay oh jesus christ this is the first day some of you are going to be reaping emotionally stressed out children attacks it's not just finances it's emotionally mentally spiritually when you want your prayers to be heard when you're live in your church, ah, come on, God. God is not playing this week with church. Ah. He said, I don't know if y'all want to record this week in church because he said his wrath is getting ready to be on you guys or is starting to be on you guys. Okay, watch how you treat people. If someone says they don't want you around or they've ended contact with you, don't stalk them. Don't tell them they have to deal with you. You just leave quietly. You don't be overbearing. You don't bully anybody. If you're an ex, if you're my person's ex, you're not supposed to be around. Doesn't matter if you get your whole family. God has a whole family that he puts over you because I'm on God's side and he loves me. And I know he tells everybody that, but he really does fight for me. So when I speak to y'all so we could bypass all this drama or you getting in trouble or high, uh, uh, messing up face with God, that's why. It's so you don't do it. It's not because I'm arrogant, it's because I see the doggone future. I'm a prophet. And I always pray to be right. <laughs> Nobody want to be wrong. I want to do what I'm supposed to do so I can move forward in the next step. That's what I always pray. Now, you can't be in a way with no jealousy or envious attitude and you talking about something is God. 